Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am now filming in my closet just because I don't have a particular space to film. So I hope this is okay for people who are watching. Um, so today's video is a September's favorite. We are finally in October. And you know what? I don't see people doing these anymore. So I thought I'd just you know, kind of bring them back a little bit. So I'm excited. I am nervous because I haven't been on camera in like forever. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And let's just jump into our September favorites. Okay, so the first thing I am going to jump into is makeup. I don't have a lot this month, but I'm pretty sure as the month goes by and I buy more makeup, I will. But um, one thing I have recently been using a lot and I found myself graduating to more is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Um, so I am in the color, uh, what color is this? 400. It's like a soft matte long wear foundation and I am obsessed with this foundation. One, because it actually does what it does, like what it says it does. It's really matte. I don't really have to wear too much powder foundation over it. Sometimes I can just go out with just this on and I love it. And I get a lot of compliments on my skin um, when I wear this, I realize. So I love it and I do have a lot of... Um, blemishes on my skin that I'm trying to work on but I just haven't found a good routine that has helped me with it so yes so I love Fenty Beauty and what I when I realized well when I heard that when she made the foundation it was for humidity because she's from Barbados and I, was, I guess I've never been but I guess Barbados is humid so when she goes out to Barbados she wanted something that was going to be long wear so the fact that she did that was pretty cool to me and very original and also I can actually vouch that. It has been hot and I've wore this before in the heat and ma'am this is like genius like we I love this so thank you Rihanna. <laughs> so the next thing I have been going for lately is this Too Faced Peach Mist. It's a mattifying spray. Um, it actually works, I'm not gonna lie. I don't wear it all the time, but at first I was like iffy about it because like when I spray it, like it's like when you spray it, like I don't know, I guess I wasn't doing it right. Like I'll be all up on my face spraying it and I'm just like dang, like <laughs> dang, like it's messy. But I found a trick, well I've, I got taught a trick. You spray it six inches away from your face. So you don't... Well, I don't have makeup on right now that I need to spray. But, um, but, so, when I spray it far from my face, just like a little mist comes onto my face, I find it more... I found it more easier to do. And then now I just start doing it more. Because now it's, like, a little bit better to me. And I know how to work it a little bit more better, so... Next in my favorites, I have been I've been using this every day, like since I bought it. Well, no, when I first bought it, I was a little skeptical about it, and I was like, "How do you even use this?" I only use the concealer part, just cause the like this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit, and I only use the concealer. I've tried the obviously I've tried them, but I don't think it fits my face, like. They come off a little ashy to me for my skin tone maybe but um man i wish they did work for me like i feel like when i did try them like you would think this would work for my skin tone right but like when i did try them like they come off a little ashy to me and i don't like ashy um yeah man that looks really like ashy brown like I don't know it just did not work out for me so I don't use it quite often I'll use it for backup but most likely I don't um but I'll for right now I just use um this other contour palette that I have and then sometimes I use eyeshadow for my contour but I wish this worked so bad because I need 
contour like I was trying to like try out cream contour right now I'm just doing powder contour and I never tried cream contour so my next pickup will be probably the KK Beauty contour because I've heard the hype and I want to try it um but I love these I mixed these two together which is this one is like a little orangey and this one is more of a, um, it's a peachy so I mix them together um they work really good. I love them. And then I bake. And it just, I look, I look good, girl. I be looking good when I be doing my uh, concealer. So, yeah. Love that Kat Von D palette. And then next I use um, this Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's waterproof. And this is by, I think, L'Oreal. I'm almost sure. Voluminous is by L'Oreal, right? I don't know but um this is what it looks like it almost reminds me of better than sex that's why i picked it up so um so like i said it's called the voluminous lash paradise and um it works very good gals so i recommend 10 out of 10 um so this is for basically my skincare i have been into masks I love mask, but I really love this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance Mud Mask with Songi Mushroom, and it's for dull skin. Picked it up at Target, love it, use it a lot. Um, I'm at the last of it, so this probably will be my last time. So I would have to go get some more, but I don't even think this is gonna fit my whole face. Like this is probably like some spots I could do, but um. I love this thing and I've used it one pack I used three times or two times already so I used some for one time and another time I used it like one pack so there's a lot of product in here and you can do it like probably up to three face masks with one pro one with, ugh, with one pack so um I love this I um try I'm trying to find what works for my skin because my skin is very stubborn and doesn't want to get rid of this acne so I'm trying to find like a little remedy I could do so if you have any like suggestions for my skin I have dry skin and oily skin in some areas um what do you do for your skincare I would like to know um so for my hair I have been washing and conditioning my hair lately because I've been wearing my real hair and these babies have been helping me. This is the Quenching Coconut Curls Shampoo and Conditioner. And it has coconut oil and sweet honey and citrus oil. So, I love them. They have been having my curls very curly and very hydrated. I do need to go get my hair cut because I have a lot of dead ends and just doing all this extra stuff to my hair. It kind of made it dead. So, I do need to do that. And that's why I want to give a shout out to this other product, which is from Fantasia. It's um, Pure Tea Constructor. This is a hair mask. Um, it's a one minute intensive treatment, so I kind of do it when I'm in the shower. And then when I'm shaving, I put it in my hair and let it do its thing for the minute. And then it's for extreme dry hair and scalp. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this thing. Like, I'm going to do it tonight. Um, I do it like twice a week because my hair needs it um and a little needs a little bit extra love um so it's good it keeps my hair very soft and i found when i did it my hair was very just like easy to maintain like it was very easy to style it and i didn't have to like do extra to it it was just perfect so the last couple things i do have is now listen Christmas is coming guys. I'm so excited. So I wanted to show you guys these ornaments I picked up because they're so cute. Um, my Christmas tree I'm doing this year, I feel like it's going to be Nutcracker theme. I'm thinking Nutcracker. Um, so I got this pig. She's in a tutu. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. And then I just thought it was so cute to pick her up and put her on my tree this year. Um, so this is like kind of the theme I'm going for. So I, this is the only two ornaments I got for it. The other one is a unicorn. <clears throat> oh my gosh. So glittery. So pink. 
I love these. So as you can tell, I'm going for a theme. So I'm going to pick up some more um, Christmas ornaments and I'll do like a whole haul for it once I do all that. I have that already planned and worked on um, or planned and written down in my YouTube book. Um, and so I can't wait for Christmas. Like thumbs up this video if you love Christmas and just love the holidays and the fall season. Like it's time. It's here guys. It is here. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you do enjoy. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.